a few months ago, somebody say, Steve, I'll be happy when I'm making a hundred grand. Really? You're going to start being happy when you make a hundred grand. What a sad situation. You'd be happy now. And that's what attracts six figures. That's how it works. I just want to have a conversation with you guys about you, about December. And I want to give you five things. And I talked to, about a couple of these things on my Monday night call, but I'm going to talk about them again and, and a little different at the end. The first thing I want you to write down is, is set firm goals. Set firm goals. You in large part are going to get out of life what you expect. You are going to get out of December what you expect out of December. And if you are wishing or you're leaving it up to hope or prayer uh, and you aren't focused and you don't have firm goals, it's not going to happen. So I want you to have firm goals in December and I want you to write them down. You need to write your goals down. I've been doing this for, for a long time and I've just never seen anybody that doesn't write their goals down uh, end up where they want to they end up. So December 12th is going to be a very important day for this team. We're going to take a Saturday training during training where our team's going to break off during that time. We're going to do our own base shop uh, business planning session, 90 minutes, uh, two hours tops. We're going to get a bunch of the leaders involved and we are going to cast the vision for the entire year. My intention, my outcome for that call is that you leave that call and you have a clear idea of why you're here, right? Why you're doing it and what you should be doing in order to hit that goal. It's, this is not just a get hyped up business. I'm not the hype man. I'm not Don King. I don't just get up. I, I don't just hype people to, to, to succeed. You got a bunch of excited people running around is just a bunch of, it could be a bunch of excited idiots running around. We don't want to do that. We want to be focused and we want to be dialed in and we want to be lasered in on what we need to do. So I'm going to challenge you to set firm goals this month in business. And I want you to write them down. So what is it? What is it? So I want you to write your goal down for December. And beside it, I want you to write down why it's important you to hit it. Why is it important you to hit it? You can't just say you want to do something. You need to know why you need to do it. People have told you to do things your entire life. Certain things you've done, certain things you haven't done. And if certain things that you did do, you did those because there was a reason for you to do it. There was something important behind it. It's the only reason you did it. So write your goals down. Number two is I want you to review your plan every day. I think sometimes you, you look at people that are further down the road, like a Calista Levesque or a Colton Burr or a Trapper or a Rob Trumpa or some of these superstars in the making. And I think you look at those people like they have it all figured out. I think you probably think those people wake up in the morning and go, bing, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be perfect. I'm going to make no excuses. La, da, da. Done. Are you kidding me? Man, every morning's a battle. <laughs> every morning, it's me thinking about hitting the snooze button. Every morning, I want to make an excuse when I get up. What, why am I telling you this? Every single night, by the end of the day, I'm off track. But every morning, I get back on track. When I read my goals, when I review my goals, when I meditate on my goals, I'm telling you, I have been at this a long time. You could consider me a professional in the business. I'm being transparent. Steve Holbrook gets off track almost every day. But the best way to start my day is to get up and get back on track again. That's all I can do. I'm just a human. This is gold. Thanks, hon. Wow, that's pretty good. That's the nicest thing my wife's ever said to me. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, this is legit gold. Thanks. I'm like really hon. down for this message. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> Perfect. Number three. Number three. I want you to schedule time to do the business. I want you to schedule time to do the business. Man, I know a lot of people, they got their goals written out. I know a lot of people that read it every day, but guess what? They don't have scheduled time in their business to do meetings. I say, when are you doing your meetings? They say, well, I can do meetings whenever there's an opening spot. If you don't have specific times in your calendar blocked off to do meetings, let me give an example. Let's say Callista could do meetings Thursday night, Friday night, six, seven, eight. In her day timer, it should be blocked off. Six, seven, eight. Blocked off to do one-on-one -on -one meeting. Blocked off to do one a month meeting. If you don't have that time blocked off and it's a day before, you're going to find every reason not to do a meeting. You're going to book a movie night. You're going to book a date night. You're going to book a Netflix night. You're going to do anything you can to avoid the pain of doing the business. 
So let me ask you a question. Just, it's just me and you right now. When are you scheduling time to make contacts? If you took a screenshot of your calendar right now, would there be time highlighted every day visibly for me to see where you were doing nothing but reaching out to people? No. Okay, so when are you doing contacts? When you feel like it. Oh, when you feel like it. Okay, how's that going? Doing things when you feel like it. Doesn't work. Man, if I worked out when I felt like it, I'd be, I'd be a, I'd be way different looking than I am right now physically. I don't, I don't love getting up and hitting the gym particularly every morning, but I do because I have a plan. So are you scheduled in your schedule in your day timer? Your day timer is your guide. Your day timer is the habits. The day timer tells you what to do next, not, not, not how you feel. How you feel every day has nothing to do with what you need to do to win. Does that make sense, you guys? You could be coming off a bad breakup, a bad conversation. Your mom really ticked you off. Your rent payment bounced. There's stuff going on. Visa debt rolling up. You've been unemployed now for two or three months. All these things are unraveling. And if you are leaving the business up to chance or hope or emotions or when you feel like it, you, are, you will fail here. It'll be a slow death, but you'll bleed out. I don't want to use the word impossible because anything's possible. I've never seen anybody win here ever that hasn't scheduled time to do the business. It just doesn't work. The nice thing is, is you get to schedule it. And then when you're not scheduled, you could do anything else you want to do. Number four, write this one in bold letters. No excuses. There's no excuses. You know that winners don't take excuses from people. You can't, you can't use an excuse with a winner. Winners don't take excuses. You want to know why? Because winners don't make excuses. I don't take excuses because I don't make excuses. That should be your motto. I don't take excuses because I don't make excuses. There's no excuses. You can't have aspirations to be more and do more and get out of your current situation and then not do what's required. Do you know how crazy that you're going to make yourself feel? Do you know how like you're going to want it? You're going to, I mean, you're going to get, you, you might get thrown into the, a corner and have to have a personal timeout. You'll be so crazy. If you tell yourself that you want to be doing something big, yet your actions speak completely different. There can be no excuses if you, if you want to win big. Are you going to make mistakes? Yeah. Are there going to be stuff you don't do? Yeah. So how do you do that without making excuses? Easy. You call yourself out on it. You acknowledge that you made an excuse and that you just, decide to do better tomorrow. You look at your day and go, wow, I, I made a, I made a lot of excuses today. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to be better. And that's it. <clears throat> and the last thing I want you to write down is this. Have fun. Have fun. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but we've been having a lot of fun around here lately. Um, fun police. Look, you got to enjoy the process. Nothing made me happier today than logging online and seeing Rob Trumpa's uh, uh, ugly Christmas sweater Zoom nice. call. I mean, it's the buzz. Everyone's talking about it. Love it. I mean, Kelly Monroy's cute little uh, Santa, uh, his cute little cute. green little sweater. I mean, how much fun is that though? You got to love the journey. You got to love the journey. You got to get involved. You got to be a part of something here. You man, get get connected with the people on this team. They're in the right headspace. They want to have some fun. Life's pretty serious right now, isn't it out there? It's a lot of serious stuff going on. Media is pretty serious. Politics are pretty serious. There's a lot of serious stuff. COVID's pretty serious. There's a lot of people being affected by a lot of things right now. So the tendency is to kind of get really tense and kind of pucker up and kind of operate. You're rigid. You're not as fluid. You're not having as much fun. You're not telling as many jokes. And you got to, I want to challenge you to be laughing. I want to challenge you to be enjoying. I want you to challenge you to get involved with the team, get involved with some of these smaller groups, smile more than you've ever smiled. Cause if you can't have fun now, when are you going to have fun? Mm -hmm. The whole idea that I'll be happy when that's a bunch of BS. I'll be happy when I get licensed. I'll be happy when I make money. I'll be happy when I find a partner. I'll be happy when. No, you be happy now and then you'll find the right partner. You be happy now and then you'll get licensed. You be happy now and then you'll get your own paycheck. 
I heard, I heard a few months ago, somebody say, Steve, I'll be happy when I'm making a hundred grand. Really? You're going to start being happy when you make a hundred grand. What a sad situation. You'd be happy now. And that's what attracts six figures. That's how it works. There's no shortcut to success here, but I, I want to make sure that you understand that it's okay to be loose and it's okay to have fun. And it's okay to, you know, it's okay to mix it up a little bit. Can you imagine a month where you set firm goals? You review them daily. You schedule time to do the business. You make no excuses because the times are non-negotiable and you have some, you have a ton of fun. Don't you think that that would make you more attractive as a leader? Don't you think that that would make you believe more and have more confidence in yourself that this is a path for you? Yeah.